Good morning, girls and boys. Welcome to Children's Worship. Let's start with our greeting. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. I thought that this morning we would start with the first few questions of the first catechism. Do you have a first catechism at home? You might have one that looks like this. Or you might have one that looks like this. The first catechism is a tool that's used. It's based on the Bible. It's a series of questions and answers, and it just helps us to understand what the Bible teaches us. So I thought that I would just go through the first few questions before we sing our song. And actually the song we're gonna sing is in response to these first few questions. So let's go through them together. Question number one, who made you? God. That was an easy one. I bet you knew that one already. Number two, what else did God make? God made all things. Number three, why did God make you in all things? The answer, for his own glory. Do you know the sign language for glory is this? So why did God make you in all things? For his own glory. Number four, how can you glorify God? The answer, by loving him and doing what he commands. Number five, why are you to glorify God? The answer, because he made me and takes care of me. Number six, are there more gods than one? No, there is only one true God. Number seven, how many persons is this one true God? The answer, three. Can you name them? God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. All right, we're going to stop there, and we're going to sing, Father, I Adore You. And it's in response to these questions, right? Because how do we glorify God? By loving Him. Let's sing out of the love that we have for God, right? And who are we singing to? We're singing to one God and three persons, right? Our Father, God the Father, God the Son, we know is Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. Let's sing together. Father, I adore you. Lay my life before you. How I love you, Jesus, I adore you. Lay my life before you. How I love you, Spirit, I adore you. Lay Next, let's sing, Be Still and Know That I Am God. 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 Once there was someone who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things.
that people began to follow him. But they didn't know who he was. So one day they simply had to ask him. And he said, I am the good shepherd. I know each of my sheep by name. And they know the sound of my voice. So when I call them out of the sheepfold, they follow me. I walk in front of my sheep to show them the way. I show them the way to the good green grass. This is the table of the Good Shepherd. A special plate and a special cup are on this table. Here is where the Good Shepherd feeds his sheep. Boys and girls, I wonder if these sheep have names. I wonder if the sheep are happy to be at this great feast. I wonder if you have ever been close to this table. I wonder if you've ever felt the Good Shepherd there with you. I wonder if you have ever heard the very words of the Good Shepherd. I wonder how many sheep can come to this table. And I wonder where they come from. I wonder where this whole place might one day be. All right, boys and girls, I'm going to pick up our material so that we'll know where they are and we'll be able to use them next week when we add to this story. Boys and girls, one thing that I miss about you not actually being in the children's worship room uh, each week is that we haven't been able to do much, by the way, of uh, response time. So normally you have response time after the story to do something to respond to the story, right? Whether you work with the materials or draw a picture or work, um, or read a book or, or whatever. Um, so today... What I was thinking that we could do is you could find some paper and maybe a, a green crayon and a brown crayon and some children's scissors. And what we're going to do is we're going to make two green circles. And you can trace something around or you can just draw a circle uh, on your paper. Paper, and it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Mine's not a perfect circle here. And then color it in uh, green. Okay, so there's one. The camera doesn't show the color too well. But see, I have my green circle right here. And then what you want to do is do one other one. Draw another green circle and color it in. And then, either with some 
um, blank space on that same piece of paper or on another piece of paper, you'll need a, a brown rectangle that will fit on one of your circles and color those in. Okay, so here I have my other green circle and my brown rectangle. The next thing to do is to cut them out. So you can, you can, if you're allowed to use the scissors, you can do it, or you can ask um, somebody else in your house to help you cut out your rectangle and your circles. So now, now I have uh, my two green circles and my brown rectangle, and I can put them together like we had in the story. Put the table here. And this side, you can find something to make a fence with if you want, or just imagine that for the sheepfold. Now what I did, I took some Legos. Do you have Legos at home? Um, maybe you have some other animal figures that you can pretend are sheep, or maybe you have some sheep yourself. But I, I put some Legos together, and I made a little sheep. There's a white sheep. And here's a multicolor sheep, red and brown. And then this one is all brown. So I made some sheep. And we need a good shepherd, so maybe you have a figure that you could pretend is a good shepherd. Or you could make a good shepherd person out of, out of Legos. And if you want to, I took a, a piece of post-it note and I put a face, a smiling face of the good shepherd on mine. So here I made uh, the Good Shepherd and some sheep, and I have the, uh, the table of the Good Shepherd on this side. Now, so we need the special plate. I found this Lego piece, kind of just a flat piece. Maybe you have something, a Legos or something else that could be a plate with some special bread. And I even put some, some special Legos together to make the cup. Or just pretend that it, it looks like a cup. So now you can do the story of how the Good Shepherd led the sheep out of the sheepfold around to the table of the Good Shepherd, just like we had in our story today. You could tell the story to um, some stuffed animals, or maybe to your mom or dad or someone else in your family. Or maybe you just want to tell the story again back to God. And, and thanks for him showing it to you today. If you want, you can make a video of yourself doing that. I'd love to see that, but you don't have to. It could just be something special that you do in response to God for the story that he gave you today. Okay, girls and boys, it's time for us to light our Christ candle. We light the Christ candle because it reminds us that Christ is with us as we read our Bible. I'm going to be reading today from uh, the book of John, chapter 10, verses 2 through 4. The man who enters by the gate is the shepherd of his sheep. The watchman opens the gate for him, and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. John 10, 2-4 Now let's pray together. We'll pray the words of the Lord's Prayer again. Can you bow your heads and pray along with me? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power okay, let's change our and lights. the glory forever. The light of Amen. Christ that was just in one place at one time is now in all places at all times. 
So the Holy Spirit is here with me in our children's worship room, and he's also with each of you in your home. Boys and girls, let's um, finish our time together by singing our Go in Peace song. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Remember, Jesus loves you very much. Go in peace. But the first uh, few questions of the catechism, the catechism, the first catechism is a tool. Let's try this again. Okay. Now to get ready for our story, let's sing our traditional, our regular, our every week song, Be Still and Know That I Am God. Use the sign language with me, okay? Let's sing together. Be Okay, girls and boys, now it's time for us to light our Christ candle. We light the Christ candle to remind us that Christ is with us while we read the Bible. All right, now it's time for us to change our light. The light of Christ that was just in one place at one time is now in all places at all times. So he's here in our churches, in our churches 